My mother's dream has always been to do something on the Tibetan plateau and to get people to learn to use their raw materials once again. She strongly felt that maybe yak wool would be the binding factor of bringing together her passion for textiles and this sustainable development. So that was her mission when she sent me and my brother to this area right after I graduated. At first I thought it was very boring. Yak wool, textiles. <laughs> So I thought, oh, I have to do what my parents want. It's so boring. And then I was very into photography and film. And so she kind of made this deal and she bought me this nice camera. And she said, OK, you go, you make a film and then you do a project. But at the same time, you collect some yak wool and you get to know a few locations. Well, I think she just went because I sent her. <laughs> um, I said, Let's do that. Nobody believed in it. They thought I was out of my mind. Then I started to talk to young nomads who are so fascinated with the outside world. They wanted to do something that fit more with the modern world rather than the kind of livelihood that they were used to that's centuries old. So then it started to make more and more sense to me about doing something with yak wool. The challenge was to train all these people and keep the employment in the village. Over the years, the project has grown with first 30 people, and then it went up to 70, and last year it went up to 115. <laughs> <laughs> Um, People who apply for jobs here, mostly that are families who have less animals and then families who have an extra person, which means that a um, divorced woman or younger sisters who didn't uh, get married out. So for these women, the workshop becomes like a second chance in their lives to have a new livelihood. Chicken, 
Ni untuk panik gana ngaji nula lekong di nang lekai oni. Sonia zong. Over the whole workshop, there's nobody who's been to college. If you're high school, there's also no one. Who's completed middle school, no one. But there's one person who's went to an alternative schooling for young adults. His name is Dorje. He's only been to five years of school in his life, but he could match with other young Tibetans who went through college. You could probably put him at the same level. Word, in Design, Illustrator, In 2006, I spent a lot of time with uh, Tunko and his family, his wife. He had kind of a battle going on inside him. One side said that he should stick with the safe side and continue to be a nomad. Another side said he should really take this risk and explore this path. Finally, he decided to just take the risk. When he decided that, he went for about two months to this school for nomads. And there he studied Tibetan for the first time in his life. And he was 26 at the time. And then when he did his homework, his hands were shaking from just holding the pen because he had never held it before. He didn't know how to study in the beginning. So the first few words of the alphabet would take an extremely long time, but once his brain got into it, he got faster and faster and faster, and then he was soon ready to pick up the English alphabet. I would say for the nomads, it's the women that our workshop has had the biggest impact on. For women, life here has been really difficult. Like for, that's the way it's been for centuries. In summers, they have to wake up at three in the morning, start milking the animals, and then they really don't stop till midnight. And they literally only sleep three to four hours during the summer months. They just don't have time to sit and relax. So the workshop for them, it's almost easy work. And on top of that, they get a cash flow that they've never had before in their lives. A project like this can't succeed unless the people are really involved and believe in it themselves and see it as something that's going to better their living.
Right now we're in the process of adding on another wing where we'll put all our felting machines. For the first time we'll be actually making use of 80 to 90 percent of the yakko that we collect from the nomads. This will allow us to also pay the nomads better. It will make us more competitive in the market.